That was Jennifer Otterburn reporting. A new internet browser made especially for users of MSN's internet service has some promising features. However, don't get rid of Internet Explorer 5.5 just yet. Jim Ladderback explains in today's Tech Live product review. Yes, yeah, Steve, thanks a lot. We've been actually talking a lot over the past few days about MSN versus AOL. Who's going to win? Are they buddies? Are they enemies? Well, one of the interesting salvos in this latest war and in another way to make the internet easier to use is the new MSN Explorer version 6.1. Built on Internet Explorer, anybody can use it. You don't have to be an MSN customer, but you do need a Hotmail account or a, uh, an, an MSN account. Let me show you how it works. I've got it loaded up right here, and you can see it's kind of a more 3D looking version of a browser. The buttons up here on the top, uh, just, uh, you know, they're more colorful, they look a little bit better. One of the neat things I want to talk about first is the way it integrates uh, online instant messaging. This is Microsoft's version of instant messaging, not, um, not the version of instant messaging you get in AOL, but it works pretty well. I'm going to go over. I've got uh, Robin Husevelt and I were talking earlier. Let's see if she's still online. Hello, Robin. Are you there? Anybody who wants to instant message me, I'm up as a TV Lab Rat is my handle. So uh, get up and talk to me because I want to show you a capability of this, and we'll get to that in a minute once people start sending me messages. Over here on the left-hand side is the My section where you can put in, you see I've got my calendar, my stocks, my websites, my photos. Now this is customizable, so you can put your own stuff in there. It doesn't have to be limited to just these categories. To customize this and to customize the home page, go to Help and Settings. I'm going to click over here up on the upper right-hand corner. There's a little question mark that gives you Help and Settings. Now, but before I get into Help and Settings, um, Seth has added me to the contact list, and we're going to talk to Seth on instant messaging. I'll say OK, and uh, Seth should pop up somewhere until Seth pops up on instant messaging. We'll get to that. Um, as I go in, uh, there we go. And notice down here on the lower right-hand corner, this is kind of interesting. When I have people that I know that I want to instant message or that can instant message me because they know of me and I've said that I accept them, a little window popped up. I'm going to say hello to Patrick right here. Let me hit click on OK. And hopefully Patrick will send me a message that will pop up in the lower right-hand corner as well. It's really nice having the instant messaging capability integrated right into the browser. See that? That load right here, Patrick says hi. It didn't have to be a separate window that I opened up. It opened up right inside of the browser. Instant messaging, a nice feature. Now, of course, I'm getting instant messaged by tons of people, so we're going to stop. Everybody else, you were too late. Hello, Chad. We're going to talk about help and settings. Hello, Dan. Hello. You know, everyone's sending me messages now. Uh, go away, go away, go away. Thank you very much. This is uh, the way you can customize this. Uh, I'm glad everybody is watching and instant messaging me. This is great. To go into personalize my stuff, right down here, I can click on my stuff. And I've got my calendar, my stocks, my websites, my photos. If I want to get rid of my, uh, my websites, because I'm not, just not interested in that, I can click on remove. It'll take it out. But as I page down, you'll see there are a lot of other things I can put in here. I can put my websites in, my settings, my sports, my maps, all of this stuff. And as I add my maps, notice over here on the left-hand nav, my maps showed up at the top. See that right there? We'll click on that. My Maps is right here. And uh, again, Supersonic Josh, everybody's saying hello to me today on instant messaging. I'm glad people are watching instant messaging. That's awesome. Uh, the one thing that you cannot, um, that you can't customize is your home page. Well, you can customize what it looks like, but you can't change MSN. It's always going to be MSN. It's always going to take you to this page. You can customize what shows up on your MSN home page, but you can't, for instance, change it so that customizes to techtv.com or anything else there. That's kind of a problem as far as I'm concerned. Another interesting thing, if you look down here on the lower left-hand corner, what looks like a, uh, a way to get to a music player, this play, stop, etc. it actually doesn't bring up the music player. What it does when you hit it is it will bring up MSN Music. We've talked about MSN Music in the past, a way to get customized radio station based on some of your favorite bands brings up MSN Music, and then from here, you can listen to music that you want. So you can type in your favorite band, and it'll bring up ra uh, record stations and things like that, well, uh, radio stations that will allow you to then look and uh, look at artists. Anyway, um, that's what that does down here. So it's kind of the next version of Internet Explorer. It kind of gives you a little bit of a customized experience. It's easier to use. And the other nice thing about it is it does give you multiple logon capabilities. So if you share your computer and your browser, with a couple different people at home, you can set it up, different email, different settings, different capabilities. But you'll lose a lot of the capabilities that you have in Internet Explorer. So unless you really, really want this and you really want the integration with the, uh, with the instant messaging, you might want to stick with Internet Explorer or wait around to uh, IE6, which is coming out soon. Let's go right into pros and cons. 
On the upside, it takes multiple accounts, Hotmail and MSN. You can share it with different people. It does have a kind of cool interface. It's integrated with the MSN stuff. Inter the IM integration is really nicely done. On the downside, you can't change your home page, which is kind of a problem. It is a little bit simplistic, but it's free and it's available now. And I want to thank everybody who's been instant messaging me. You're all really nice uh, to send me messages. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have more on this later today.